Hello again, we are on the challenge and we are in mapping. And this time it's about mapping beyond. Now beyond is basically the unmanifest. So some people talk about manifestation and fenifestation. The distinction lies between manifesting the more physical, the more rational, but not only. And the fenifestation is more the feminine side, the relations, the connections. And so when we are mapping beyond, we are tapping into the unmanifest. And it's not about manifesting what we want here in the mind or as a human being. It is about what can we map that has a benefit or many benefits for all. So it's about restoring harmony. So beyond means this planet, nature, the cosmos, humans, animals, everything. Beyond is what we actually don't comprehend, beyond our horizons of understanding. So what are we mapping here? This map is actually very important at this time as we are shifting in this new consciousness. Aquarius is here. We are stepping in, in this new time, in this new age. So when we are mapping beyond, we are breaking the old paradigms that have kept us in the old. When we are mapping beyond, we are mapping what is coming here and now so that it can manifest and fenifest on its own. It's not about you, it's not about me, it's about all. So what are we mapping here beyond? It's about these new ways of being. There are three ways that kept us in density, three points. And the three points are separation, duality, power over. So these three things have caused much damage, pain, karma, disconnection, whatever we want to call it. But it's part of our experience. We have chosen it. So it's okay. It's not about fighting it. And this is the first point. So what is beyond separation? What are you putting on the map? In the map beyond this new earth, in this new world. Beyond separation is obviously oneness. So each one of us uniquely now can put something in that brings oneness, that brings wholeness. How about peace? Imagine we really don't have to fight anymore. Imagine we can truly live in peace and we have oneness. So find out your own. That was the first separation. The second is the duality. And duality is also what keeps us conditioned, what keeps us apart from harmony. The indigenous people say that they never left paradise. It was only the Christians who left paradise and entered in a space of sin. And this is possibly origin, maybe not, but it's part of the understandings that we have about duality. What is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad, what is correct, what's incorrect. In that map beyond, it's not like that. In that map beyond, it's about what is in harmony. It's not about what brings a positive or negative impact. It's not about being positive or negative. It's about what brings harmony within, but more beyond. So beyond is the wholeness of all. So what are you putting in? on that map. We need each one of us to 
put something that signifies and that allows non-duality and even beyond non-duality to manifest and say, okay, what is it for you? For me, it's tuning in and actually listening and nurturing and feeding harmony. But there's so many other aspects and surely I haven't discovered them all yet, but I'm inviting you to be part. And here comes the last point that needs to be mapped beyond. And the one that we shift, that we break the paradigm and the program is the power over. Power over has really in a way the only way to get to the core and forward. It was that idea of the triangle of the kitchen. It was the idea of if I have power over then I have also those things in my hand that I can affect. It gave us the illusion from a perspective of actually living in fear and limitation. So what are we doing beyond the limitation of our perception? That's a very good question. For me, it is the harmony in the fear. For me, it's the step beyond that fear and the usual nature harmony. Because when we understand that nature is not about the survival of When we understand that the control and the power over can help us, and just because we think we own it, we destroy it, we fight it, it doesn't mean we really own it. Only thing we really own is we own it. And we can't control it either because it's not the same. Everything is designed actually not to be as it is, and the world is not. So what are you mapping beyond this power over? The question of course is again, how do you want to live it out? The power over the separation and the duality obviously comes from a time of illness when men we need to do it all on our own, which is many very positive and many aspects, but obviously it has separated us, it has broken our duality, it has broken so much more than we can ever ever have. So, I'm challenging you and me, what are we mapping beyond to tap into the oneness, into what's beyond next one.